Hi there, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to generate a report card using Excel. This is actually very dynamic. Every student will get a separate or individual report card and you can actually print this out. So if you go to file and you go to print, you can print individual report card out for every student. You don't need any complex software to do this. This is the data set I'm going to use. So basically you have a list of your students, the score they had and their various uh subject you have everything if you want to include the date of birth you have to do that and then we come here and then we should be able to generate the report card dynamically so you should be able to get the percentage that they are great for respective a subject and then we can also get a summary for the total marks and then the percentage score for the students so this is the average for the entire subject the students actually took in the class so this is the percentage for a student called Ufuri. So the name will show the date of birth will show the class and then the number this can be a row number for the student so if i go ahead and select the first student on the row automatically the name is going to show the name of the student is going to show so let me select one from the list here so you can see the number one is john and this is the date of birth and then the class and then the grade will display over here and the total score so let's jump right into this and then and then create this don't worry about this i'm going to share everything for you to get for free and then you can use the template is going to be available so watch the end in order to have access to this file and this is what we're going to do i'm going to start a new uh, a new worksheet here and then what we're going to do is that let's try to select some portion over here and then i'm going to go to under under my team here and then select a color so you can pick any color for the background yeah let me just use this Okay, so the next thing we want to do is that we're going to use the same standard. So let's just put the name of the school over here. You can select whatever portion you want here and then you can actually merge that. So let me just select this portion and then go to merge center and then type the name of the school. I'm still going to use Grace. I'm still going to use Grace School. So this can be the name of your school. Okay, so you can just go ahead and then center and make align this holding this and you can increase the font size okay you can actually increase the font size of that and then also down here you can write the report card if you want to enter that you can actually go to insert tab and then pick a text box here just pick a text box and you can draw a text box and then write reports okay. so this is basically what i'm going to do and then i'm actually going to increase the font a bit and then bolding this and then underline this so i can actually because this is a text where i can under, actually pick this and then uh, reposition it so i can center align this as well for the color i wanted to have the same color as the background so i can just go here and pick my previous color or just select the color from here the color i use for my background i can use that so you can the colors can be uniform for the border around this i can select that go to shape format and then for shape outline i'll set it to now and you can see i have no border now this is what we're going to do the report card is actually having the number name the date of birth and then the class and we have that information over here so we actually need the number name date of birth and then the class so i can just select and copy that from my main table that's my database and when i come here i can just click here and then when I right click, I'll go to paste special. I just click on that. And what we're going to do over here, select values and then go to transpose. So we select transpose from here and click on OK. So we're going to have all that information over here. You can see I can increase the font size a bit here and that is good. Now for here, we can actually add some column over here, some column. So I can just do something like this. And what I want to do is I want to make sure this is bold. So I'll do that here and then the colon I want it for all so I'll just drag it down like this and then for the spacing I'm going to close that okay so now what we want to do next is that we want to make sure anytime we have a list of the numbers over here so the students over here automatically we have 15 students it can be more so what I'm going to do right here is that when I come here I want to generate the list of the numbers over here. so when I select the list I should be able to get a day the date of birth and the class the student belongs to so here what i'll do is that i'll go to my data here and then down here i'm actually going to go to data validation okay, select data validation and from the allow option i want to create a list to so go to list and then from the source i'm going to select the source here and go back to our data set 
So I'm going to select that from here and then click on OK. So automatically you can see here I've generated my list over here. So this is my list. So now what I want to do is anytime I select a list, I want to get the name of the student, get the date of birth, and then I get the class. We can only achieve this using VLOOKUP. And I've done some videos already on VLOOKUP. You can go to my channel and look for that video. But let's still go ahead and implement that. So I'm going to select equal to and then use VLOOKUP. And then when I select this, what you're going to happen is that we want the lookup value. The lookup value we are looking for is the numbers. So once we get a number, we should be able to get the class that the student belong to. So that's the lookup value. Now we need a table array. What is the table array? The table array is basically our table over here. So I'm going to actually select this entire table here. And then take note of the column. We want the name. And then the name is on column. That's the D, that's the D which is column 2. So go to the top here. This is our VLOOKUP function over here. Go to the top, bring comma, and then put two over there. And the last thing for the VLOOKUP is the actually the exact match. So we want to actually get the exact match of the student. So it can be approximate or exact match. So since we want exact match, we'll put zero over there. And then we close the brackets. But I want us to take note of this. For the table range, we actually need to keep that constant so that the data there will be fixed data for each student. So press the F and then the, the F4 key on your keyboard, or you can press the function key and then F4. So we, we freeze that column like that and then hit enter. So you can see here, I'm not getting Joshua for row number 10 or number 10. If I go ahead and select it, you can see the name is going to change to Aaron. If if I select that for number 13, you can see the name keeps changing, which means that everything is working. I'll go back home and then just try to realign this, make sure this center line and then make this one bold. So we're going to use the same method. Now this is working. Let's use the same method to get out of the date of birth and then that of the class. All you need to do is to take note of the class. The class is on column 4, date of birth is column 3. So we can actually use the same formula here. So this is the formula. In the just copy that formula. And then all we need to do now is when you come down here, you come to the date of birth, just paste the same formula here. Because the date of birth is on column three, just change the two to three and then hit enter. And you can see here, when you get this figure, don't worry, all you have to do here is to go to the number column and make sure you switch from general to what? You can use short date, so let's use short date. And you can see here, it's going to display this as date of birth. So move down to the class, let's do the same thing here is the same formula here now class is on column four so just change the two to four like that and then that is set so we can actually confirm this let's go to number three if you go to number three from the database we should be able to get gladys in class five so come here and number 11 here you can see this gladys and then gladys class five and then that is basically what we want gladys is number 11 class 5 and then date of birth you can see february 19 2003 and that is exactly what we have over here so which means that everything is working everything is working up to this stage now we actually need to not generate we look at our final work we actually need to generate this as well we need to generate this table and then get the summary sheet all we need is to get a subject we need to get a subject first so all i want us to do is that let's go back here and then copy the subject so let's go back here and copy the subject. So we can actually come here and then just click here. Copy this. And then we come back here. We can come down here and then right click, use the same method. Go to base special and then select values and transpose. So this is going to give us a sub. So select this column now and I can expand this column a bit. So now let's just give the heading. So this is going to be the subject. Then we need the rest we can just go ahead and need the and put the rest where we need the total mark pass mark uh, marks of 10 percentage so we can just put those information over there. you can put the total marks here let's also put in the uh, pass mark here then let's also put marks of 10 let's get a percentage and then finally, let's get the grid. Let's just try. Let's just try and expand this column to accommodate everything we have.
okay so i'm going to select the select the heading and then highlight it within this and i can also change the color for the background okay you can use any color just try to design everything here and then i can apply some border around it so i'll select this and then go to under the font group and then go to the borders and then let's use all borders so we should be getting something like this that is perfect our table is taking shape so now what we want to do is that anytime we select a student here we should be able to get the, the marks the student obtain the percentage and then the grade the student actually obtain as well so that is basically what we want to do but what is the total mark the student need to obtain the total mark is supposed to be 100 so this is actually going to be universal so they should have the same number here 100 okay and then i'm actually going to increase the fonts here let me put it around uh, 14 so everything in is okay at this point i want to actually keep expanding this a bit let me center and middle align this again now past mark is 50 so that is also going to be constant to run through so i'm going to put that here as well center and middle align and then also we need a mark obtained by the students and the mark obtained by the students will be from our system over here so this is going to be dynamic so every student have their respective mark they obtain based on the subjects they took so this is the marks over here so let's try and get this marks from this data set for the report card we need to do this using vlookup okay so we're going to say equal to vlookup here and then our lookup value is here so anytime we select this number we should be able to get a mark obtained by a student so bring comma and then the table array is basically going to be our database so select this entire table now we need to take position of or take note of the position of the subject so the mass is on we check the column one two three four five so mathematics is on column five so let's take note of that and then we can get the rest as well so now that we know that let's put comma here and put put a comma and put five there and then we'll put zero for exact match but like i said the table range should be fixed so select that range here press f4 or the function key f4 to freeze that column so now let me hit enter and you can see here i'm getting 84 for joshua that is mathematics so joshua is getting 84 and then we can actually go back and check that so where is joshua we have joshua here and then let's see mathematics for joshua you can see joshua is getting 84 which means everything is working for english joshua is getting 54. now we can use this same method for the rest over here we don't need to drag this down we don't need to drag this down because this subject because this subject or the subject belongs to different color so all we need to do is to copy this same vlookup function now when we move to the next one the next column or the next cell just place it there and then english is on column six so just change that to six from the function but I just change that to six you can see now we are getting 54 for english for joshua so if you can easily check that from here joshua is for english at 54. so this same method will be implemented for the rest so keep pasting that the next one is going to be seven for science so put seven here and you can see that is going to go like that so we'll keep pasting until we are done this is going to be eight then we go for physics physics is so supposed to be nine and then for the last one it's going to be 10 which is chemistry and there we have it so you can see here we can actually confirm that we selected joshua for chemistry joshua is getting 10 we can actually confirm that from here so this is joshua and then we we'll move down here you can see 50 joshua is getting 50 for chemistry so that is it i'm going to center align this i'm going to center align this now now we should get a percentage score we should get a percentage score how do we get a percentage so let's just go to equal to the mark that the students obtain divided by the total mark here it should give us a percentage okay so this is it and all we have to do is to use the percentage sign here and then we should be getting this so this we can drag it down and then we should be getting that for the rest now is the grade how do we get a grade for the student for that we can use the if function here so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to say equal to 
if so what we're going to say is that we are using the markup team to create this student so what we're going to do is we're going to select this column so if the value in that column the markup team is greater or equal to i'm going to say from 85 so i want to make it flexible so if you get from 85 and above then i should give you a i should give the student a and then also if you get from the same column the markup team if it's greater or equal to i'll put this around 70 i'll put this around 70 then i'll give the student a b okay i'll give the student a b and then we'll continue in the order until we are done so we're using the same column so this time around, I'm going to use, I'm going to use 60 for that. So let me use 60 for 60, sorry, I'm going to use 60. And then I'm going to give a student a C. So it all depends on what you want to use. If you want to say successful, if you want to use very good, good, and all that satisfactory, then you can actually go ahead and then do that. So I'll go ahead here and then keep doing that until I've gotten all I want. So the next one is going to be 50. So here, if a student get 50 all i want to do is that i'm going to give a student a d okay okay then finally what i'm going to do is that what i'm going to do is that if a student get anything less than 50 then i can actually give the student f meaning the student actually failed so i'm going to put f here and then Check the number of times you open the bracket and you close that number of times. In my case, I've opened it one, two, three, four, five. So if I've opened this around five times, okay, one, two, three, four, and then five. So make sure you close it five times. So go ahead and then close it. One, two, three, four, five, and hit enter. So you can see here, student is getting B because the student had. 84 remember from 85 you can get it and you can get a so let's see if we drag this down geography if joshua is going to get a for geography so we can drag this down and see you can see joshua is getting a for geography because we had 87 which is 85 and above so we can just go ahead and center align this and there we have it now we can actually confirm this if it's working so we can select a different student from the list so this is Gladys and here you can see the results are actually indicating over here. The grades are actually indicating. We select a different one, Aaron, and then it's going to update that accordingly. And this is actually working. The class and everything is showing. But in my final work here, I just created a summary sheet over here. The total marks, marks obtained, and then the percentage. So this is actually going to give you the average pass for the students, for all the subjects. So we can actually do that down here. So what we want to do is that we just want to let me just put this here put in mark of 10 or total marks so we want to actually get the total marks marks of 10 and then the percentage so total mark total marks here to get the total marks is actually going to be equal to you're going to use a sum here and then this is the total mark here so we have six subjects we're giving us 600 so the mark of 10 So for mark of 10, we're going to do equal to and sum. And then this are the mark of 10 for the student here. And then it's going to give us this. And then we have to also get a percentage. For the percentage, it's going to be equal to actually the mark of 10 by the student divided by 600. And it's going to give us this. So we can actually go ahead and then change it to a percentage here and then you can see for fully for average or the average pass here or if you bring everything together or for is getting 61 let's select a different student and see that you can see everything here is updating so everything is now very dynamic i'm going to make this available to you so you can see john here you selected john get everything his max grade and everything is dynamic in that order and that is basically what we want to achieve and this is working this is a report card that you can actually print out like i said you can actually print it out and then use for your academic work like subscribe for more videos like this 
more entertaining and more interesting videos. You don't need any complex software to do this. Till I come away again, subscribe for more. Bye bye.